check this out. Another plane to show you. We call it a puffy wing. I laughed when Captain Muppet brought this. I said, what's this? This ain't gonna fly. But surprisingly, it does. So I'm gonna have a go today. Let's get in the sky. Oh, we're up. Oh, look at this. Oh, can I fly it? He told me not to give it full power because the motor's too powerful for it. Oh, well, look at this. Yeah, it's got the shakes. It's weird how it stays in the sky. See, if you go too fast, it does shake. Look at this. So he brought this real cheap from Banggood as a kit. Put your own surveys in the motor. You just got a little drone motor in it. I believe it come with a three bladed prop, but it was no good, it wouldn't fly. So we changed it to the standard prop, two blades, and it flies now. Look at this. This is a nice slow flyer, calm flyer. It doesn't do the stunts. It's a bit wobbly. Look at this. I can't believe it flies. Very noisy. I've got a bit more speed on for you. I'll show you how it wobbles. <laughs> it gets the shakes if you go too fast. Might need a couple more spars in it. But it's good enough. Good enough for the money. I believe it is still available. It's a nice flying wing. Flat out. <laughs> Doesn't like it. Not too bad, eh? Looks good, Captain Muppet. Good job. Flies around nice. Five. Look at this. You fly in a nice tight area too. Not too bad. I'm amazed it flies. You can almost get anything to fly. And Captain Muppet told me that it doesn't do the stunts. Not real good. The board might be a bit thick. The control surfaces haven't got enough travel maybe because it's thick foam. It's just flat foam. There's no shape to it. It's just got those fins on top and they make it stay in the air. All those fins on top. So they must do something. Flat out. Against the wind. Not too bad against the wind. A little bit of a shake. Hang on to it. Got sucked down there by the turbulence. And I accidentally ran into him with my plane. We had the high speed crashes in the air. So it has got a little bit of damage on it. But it held up okay, it's still flying. That's the main thing. Let's fly sideways with the wind. Three. Battery might be getting a little bit low. It's an old battery. Pretty good. Good enough. We'll bring it in for landing. Well, the wind's changed directions. Wind's just turned. Bring it in for landing. 
does it glide? Oh, good enough. Back from the field, and as you can see, it doesn't fly too bad, eh? The swallow wing, not too bad at all. I didn't think it would fly, because it, it's this real soft, funny foam it is, you know, real flexible stuff. You know, you really bend it. It's dead flat. See that? Dead flat, and it's just got these fins on it. And I thought, no way this is gonna fly. Captain Muppet, no way. But it does. As long as you fly it slow, as you can see, it gets the deaf wobbles, doesn't it? Wobbles. Um, it does have all these spar spars you've got to glue in, um, but they're not enough. It's still quite flexible. So, you know, if you buy it, you might want to put some thicker spars in it um, because they're not enough. And when you do assemble it, um, put these fins on last. Make sure you glue them in flat, flat on your bench, let them set, then put the top wings in, and then you'll be right. Go put your own electronics in. Emacs motor there, 2205. Oh, there it is, very small print, um, 2300 KV. And a small prop, 5x4 prop, he's tried a couple of different props, triple props don't work, you got to go with a standard prop for sure. Um, hidden, hidden away under here, a little uh, ESC, just a 12 amp I think, receiver tucked away in there, and you stick your battery, a little bit of Velcro, strap on there. Joe's T plug on there fits in there. The weight of the battery is on top too, but it still flies. Flies around okay. Not too bad at all. You know, not a bad size, 800 millimeters, and the red looks good in the sky. He did pick it up real cheap, very cheap. Makes a worthwhile build. Nothing wrong with building a kit now and again. Good to build something out again, for sure. A little bit of timber, common servos there. Has got these um, clevises. You gotta put the screw in it, which sort of clamps it. They have come loose a little bit. A couple of times they've come loose. Been crashed a couple of times, but it's rubbery foam. So it takes a beating. It's not too bad. Probably a good way to start to get in the flying wings too, you know, because it can take a beating. Something to show you, something different. Thanks for watching.